Frightening twist tonight in that startling racist incident involving two students at the University of Hartford. The university present now facing death threats. The incident is raising some concerns about race relations on college campuses in the state. News 8's Mario Boone talked to some college students this evening. He's back with their reaction. Mario. And unfortunately, many of these students say they experience racial discrimination all the time on campus. Surprisingly, though, some say they do not regret attending predominantly white colleges. New tonight, death threats against the president of the University of Hartford. I probably received 2,000 emails, and uh, a number of them are are very threatening. And late word of threats against a white student accused of a racially motivated hate crime against her black former roommate she allegedly poisoned with bodily fluids. Yeah. News 8 wanted to know if this type of racial tension is common at Connecticut's universities. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So we pulled together an informal group of black current and former students who attended predominantly white colleges here in the state. There's segregation on these campuses. Um, I definitely knew some people who have experienced some um, racial tension. But there's things that happen that make people feel uncomfortable. Whether they all point to the University of Hartford poisoning as a more glaring example. But sometimes campus racism is more subtle. Uh, the experiences that I had on campus where um, it was like constant explanation in the same, like in a sense where I had to explain like why I was doing certain things and why I'm fighting for this and why I need justice and why. Yet they all say they don't regret choosing a predominantly white university. It now gave me a time, a chance to step out of my comfort zone. I just felt like it helped just broaden my experience. Now this case is making national headlines. The suspect has been expelled from the university and faces serious criminal charges tonight. The victim, she is keeping a low profile. Back to you.